Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. Finally, the creator of Cloud Code has revealed the truth that he has made the entire Cloud Code project with AI. Means Cloud Code itself a vibe coding project. Here you see that in one of his recent posts on Twitter, one person asked him that you did not write a line of code for Cloud Code in the last 30 days. Here you see that correct. In the last 30 days, 100% of my contributions to Cloud Code were written by Cloud Code. Okay, so that means Cloud Code itself a vibe coding project that is written by the Cloud Code. And if you read this post, here you see when I created the Cloud Code as a site project back in September 2024, I had no idea it would grow to be what it is today. It is humbling to see how Cloud Code has become a core dev tool for so many engineers, how enthusiastic the community is and how people are using it for all sorts of things from coding to DevOps to research to non-technical use cases. This technology is aligned and magical and it makes it so much easier for people to build and create and increasingly code is no longer the bottleneck. Okay, so previously this coding part was the bottleneck but now it is very much easier to write the code. And you remember that some days ago I made the video on this topic that coding is no longer a bottleneck. Now the bottleneck part is that to review the code to merge the code to manage the pull request, right? This means uh, nowadays people can use the right prompt and uh, if you give the right context, right prompt, then this uh, AI tools or AI coder can automatically write the code for you. And uh, a year ago, Claude struggled to generate bash comments without escaping issues. It worked for seconds or minutes at a time. We saw early signs that it may become broadly useful for coding one day. So previously when they started for building the cloud code at that time there were some issues but nowadays it is a mature AI coding tool, AI coding agent, right? So fast forward to today, in the last 30 days I landed 259 pull requests, 4797 comments and 40k lines added and 30k lines removed. Every single line was written by cloud code plus Opus 4.5 which is their strongest coding model all over the world according to them. Cloud consistently runs for minutes, hours and days at a time and uh, software engineering is changing and we are entering a new period in coding history. And not only this person, this Boris Journey, uh, he is the creator of this Cloud Code. Also this person, uh, this Regle and also this person Andres Karpathy, many of you already know him. He is also saying the same thing that uh, I never, I have never felt this much behind as a programmer. The profession is being dramatically refactored as the bits contributed by the programmer are increasingly sparse and between. I have a sense that I could be 10x more powerful if I just properly string together what has become available over the last year and a failure to claim the boost feels decidedly like skill issue. Okay, so the thing is that nowadays you see that uh, people are not that much improving his skill. People uh, means uh, they, they are not improving their skill over the coding. They are improving the skill uh, for writing the good prompt. Means uh, if you have the AI uh, tools, if you have that model, a good coding model, but if you are not able to um, explain your requirement to that coding model, then you, you are actually left behind. So that's why here you see he has mentioned that I have never failed this much behind as a programmer, the first line. So he's saying that um, as a programmer, uh, it actually got totally changed. Means previously we were more we were more focused on writing the good code and uh, more clean code. But nowadays it is done completely by the AI. Okay. Nowadays people are actually uh, struggling to write the good prompt for explaining the topics or explaining the requirement to the AI. And also he is saying that there is a new programmable layer of abstraction to master involving agents, sub-agents and their prompts in and context, memory, modes, permission, tools, plugins, skills and hooks, MCP, LSP, slash command, workflows, ID integration and a need to build or an all encompass, encompassing mental model for strength and pitfalls for uh, fundamentally stochastic. And also he has mentioned that in addition to the user layers, layers below. So this is the lines, don't skip this line. He has also mentioned in addition to the usual layers below. So the usual process of programming is uh, writing the good code, writing the clean code and then review it. These are the manual process. But here we are more focused for managing the agent. 
means like you have three agent one agent is for writing the code one agent is for uh, reading the document reading the requirement one agent is for reviewing the code fixing the error okay so you have this three agent now it is your responsibility for managing this three agent that uh, so so that you can give the best output at the end of the day right so this is actually he is saying so it has actually got totally changed now this person is saying that the more i code with opus 4.5 the more i think we are 6 to 12 months away from solving software the model is pretty much there i will build like three version of an app in a few hours just to explore options that each would have taken me one to two weeks less than one year ago so previously one year ago if you want to make the uh, three version of your existing project then it will take a lot of time but nowadays uh, you can just generate the three version of your existing app so how it could be possible because uh, you know that if you ask one same question to the ai three to four times then every time you will get a slightly different answer from them right so that's why you will get different version of the app and this is this actually becomes slightly weird sometime as agi gets closer i expect things to start feeling increasingly weird and the awareness is definitely starting to accelerate yes as i already told you opus 4.5 would you like me to do a or b here me actually can you create ephemeral test pages for both that are interactive presentation of what uh, those solution would look like fully implemented and explain the why pros and cons etc and do c and d to just uh, so i can see so actually uh, there is an option Currently, uh, if you give any uh, question to the model, in case of ChatGPT also, you will sometimes see that on the left hand side you have a response and right hand side you have, you have an option, two options. And they are asking that which one you prefer. Then you press the button, I prefer this response, right? So sometimes these are actually weird and you, you get confused that which one actually better. So you, you are saying that yes, this one is better. But uh, if uh, your friend is saying that no, this one is better, then you are thinking that am I actually doing something wrong here? Am I not getting any point or am, am I actually missing anything here? Why he is saying that this is better? So this is this is kind of weird things, right? Then you are thinking, okay, let's do it one more time. And then at that time, you see that there is a different output. Okay. So people under it, how uh, massive the network effects of cloud skills alone will be in driving performance over the next few months. Anthropic have a great talk at AIE about how skills are kind of like up from continual learning. Don't build agents, build skills on YT. Okay, strongly agree on our topic that this person also posted. And also, how do you see that he has, uh, this person also reacted uh, on this post, on this Andres Karfethi post that I have already shown you. So his post was like, uh, left, feeling left behind the uh, as a programmer. Feels like a ton of people finally got a proper chance to toy around with cloud code plus opus 4.5 over the holidays and the desert vibe shifts begins 2026 will be electric so we don't know what will be happen in the upcoming years but uh, what our responsibility is learn the new things just be familiar with the new things and change your ways of coding or whatever you are doing just change that way and accept that new things and just uh, learn that new skills and uh, be familiar with that otherwise you will be surely left behind from the others in one day okay so i hope that this video is helpful for you and you got to learn many things from this video so if you found this video helpful don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye take care